Good morning, folks. Major video came out last night, and we'll add some sprinkles this morning. We've got some peripheral news as well, but let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com and see the incoming active region behind the limb is still active. The moon partially eclipses the satellite, and then the plasma filament incoming on the north steps into perfect view. That is a monster up there to complement the smaller ones out ahead of it. The largest plasma filament center disk is beginning to depart and has stayed calm all the way so far. Solar wind took a minor intensification over the last day. It is a half impact from the southern coronal hole stream, driving up the KP slightly and due to the departing southern coronal hole. It does appear that much of that stream indeed missed Earth to the south, and up next we have another northern opening turning in now. A quick note on electron counts in Earth orbit. We have hit the year's peak in electron flux, and for those who remember, last November we showed that we had been at the highest peak in the last year at that point, so we are at a multi-year peak in high-energy electrons right now. Strongest storm on Earth is a super typhoon in the West Pacific. This one is heading north at Japan for direct impact and will be a monster when it arrives. Eyes open on the island. Top story today comes from Jupiter, where the Juno mission has fulfilled one of its primary objectives, to determine the depth of the visible cloud layer in storms. Some thought it might be superficial, but indeed, we now know that the turbulent storm activity extends down hundreds or thousands of miles into the planet. They thought the weather was more driven by the planet itself, but it turns out the outer boundary layer is externally forced to a significant degree. Who would have thought the energy from space could affect the weather? Okay, silly question for this audience. Indeed, last night's video was one of the final pieces, the temperature mechanism that complements all the others. And for those who wanted a bit more on the most recent storm, Ophelia, which just pounded Europe, well, back in 2005, when the first recorded tropical strength storm since 1842 hit the Iberian Peninsula, it formed during a geomagnetic storm due to a coronal hole just like Ophelia. Folks, tomorrow we'll be doing our last giveaway for tickets to Observing the Frontier. Every week on our Facebook page we do a question of the week and anyone who gets the right answer goes into the lottery. Some people have as many as six right answers and six entries into the contest, therefore. Tomorrow will be the last one and after that we'll draw for the tickets. Facebook.com slash Observatory Project. Get involved and win a trip to the show. We've got the world's wind maps coming up, null school, and shots of our star to close. Please check out last night's video if you haven't seen it. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.